have a hat on. Okay. And your hat is the um, Rob Donald Banks Peninsula Trust. Right. Um, I'm a member of the trustee of the Rod Donald Trust. Uh, and I also have been the, for the last year and a bit, um, the Rod Donald Trust representative on the Banks Pest Free Banks Peninsula Working Group that has been working to establish the structure, which is behind the MOU that's been recently signed, um, for developing a pest free um, Banks Peninsula, pest free 2050 Banks Peninsula. Um, and I won't go through all the points that David Miller's so ably outlined to you, but I'll just talk a little bit on from the more specific perspective of the um, Rod Donald Trust. Uh, my own background is that I worked for DOT for 29 years and was um, involved in many different types of pest control operation in terms of leading them or doing programs of project management and, and the like. Um, the, the Pest Free Working Group has developed a strategic plan um, a, to be put to the to be established governance group for Pest Free Banks Peninsula. Um, an operational plan and tactical plans have been prepared with the um, assistance of the other agencies. Um, the City Council involvement on the Pest Free Working Group, particularly Laura, Laura Miles and um, Paul Devlin has been excellent and been essential to the, the, the progress that has been made. The Rod Donald Trust has um, seen this as a, an extremely important long-term objective for the Banks Peninsula. We have both recreational and biodiversity objectives the Trust has uh, and we, because we have, there are other organisations that are focusing on the biodiversity, we have limited the amount of funding that we're putting into biodiversity projects but we've seen this to be of such importance that we've done what we can to actually kick start this whole thing and put in funding. So we've committed um, 35, we underwrote and we committed $35,000 to the um, successful um, Little Akaloa Goat Eradication Plan program, which, um, and now the next step is to the next site on the peninsula to work through about five sites and completely remove goats off the peninsula. In addition, we put forward $25,000 of seed funding to fund the position for a, an operational manager for the um, establishment group for the, for the, um, the organisation. Uh, Richard Ball and he's doing an excellent job putting together all the pieces so that we're, we're in a position to use money, money coming from larger funding streams including the, the rate, paying money, rate payers money from ECAN that we, we, we've asked for um, half a million dollars, <laughs> that's the scale of that contribution, um, can be best utilised. Um, the $60,000 from that we are requesting from the City Council with a focus on community group action and I, I just endorse everything that David said about the value of working with community groups and supporting what they can do for a variety of benefits. Um, we think that's a, that's a, that's a small commitment. Um, we welcome the work that is currently being done by the Council in this area on the peninsula, mainly through the, the regional parks ranges. Um, excellent work. Um, supporting a, a wide range of pest control initiatives, um, but I certainly believe that the, the, the council can see its way to perhaps not m matching the regional council contribution, but <coughs> but meeting this type of type of funding not just for one year but into future years. Um, and having this funding will provide leverage for additional funds because when you know how you do funding bids, you won't be able to say these organisations are given so much. Can we have your contribution? Um, and we're looking for big contributions in predator free 2050 lotteries rata um, and doc um, in the future, the doc community fund that is. So I'll just kind of wrap up on that one. Um, I think that what is proposed for pr uh, Pest Free Banks Peninsula uh, is a wonderful idea, it's a visionary one, it's part of actually um, turning Banks Peninsula into a biodiversity um, hub and protection area that will provide not just benefits for Christchurch citizens um, but also for visitors and provide a significant draw card in the future for people visiting um, this area and I think that the City Council will get a lot of kudos from backing this particular proposal. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, questions? Uh, Pauline. Yeah. Just wondering um where ECAN's involvement fits in because they're also funding as well and have they indicated an increased level this year for their 
Uh, I was at the um, ECAN annual plan hearing yesterday presenting on behalf of the, the Rod Donald Banks Winship Trust. Um, we've asked the, the regional council has put forward a rate proposal, 50-50, a targeted and a um, non-targeted, 50% non-targeted rate, general rate, uh, and that will, on the face of it, raise half a million dollars that can be put forward to this. So it's a very extensive commitment that the Regional Council is putting in um, to improve the biodiversity of the peninsula, which of course is a key part of the Christchurch City Council's area. Mm. So that's for um, biodiversity and pest control? It will cover a range of pest control because it will include the, the <coughs> existing possum program, rabbit control, support for their pest liaison group, um, and also weed control work they're doing on the peninsula. You can control pests and weeds, but the outcome is actually having more birds and having far better vegetation, far better landscape, making the place more attractive for people and visitors, and also having agricultural benefits as well, you know, for farmers, less pests. Um, and also for having a much better amenity for people living on the fringes of Christchurch, we say the Port Hills, are actually going to really, in the future, enjoy the type of sort of bird life that you get in Wellington, we hope. Mm. So is that fund from ECAN be a contestable fund or is part of that a three-year operational program? Um, there may be some contestable component. That's up for them to decide. We can't speak on their behalf. Um, but we're expecting that a substantial proportion of that, that rate will actually come directly into the pest-free working group right. and you. its new form. Anyone else? Look, thank you very much. Um, it's very good that you've um, made the submission, so it's much appreciated.